Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do a reading for Sagittarius. This is for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. And this is for the next seven days. This is being recorded. So it's the next seven days from the date that you watch it, okay? So it's being recorded on the 13th. So say if you watch it on the 13th, it could be the 13th to the 20th. If you watch it on the 14th, it's going to be the 14th to the 21st, you know, just like that. But the timing is still fluid, so keep that in mind. And not every reading is for you, so this reading may or may not be for you. So what do we have for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? We got one that came out. Ooh, hammock, taking a vacation physically or mentally. So you need a physical or mental vacation. Perhaps you're going to be taking one. What do we have? Oh, there we go. I don't see that. We got two there. Oh, my nose is itching. Interesting. Um, bird perched, waiting for news, package, or letter. So you're waiting for a package or a news or a letter. It's obviously it's not en route yet because the bird isn't moving. You're waiting for it. Um, it's coming. It is coming. You are going to be receiving some news. Um, there's still some sort of delay, but four leaf clover, good luck, good fortune. It says good, it says great, good fortune, but four leaf clovers are good luck. So there is luck that is on your side. Luck is on your side. You're, this is, there may be some sort of lucky break. You've been waiting for it. I mean, that purged, bird perch is a period of waiting, okay? You have to wait for this. Whatever is happening, you know, it's going, to, it's going to go in your favor. And I've been seeing that for a while now. So what do we have for Sagittarius? You do need a vacation, either physically or mentally, so consider that. Obviously, it's saying that you're taking one. Maybe you're taking a little break to reflect. Anyhow, what do we have for Sagittarius? Ooh, Gemini. Some of you could be dealing with a Gemini. I think Gemini, I think Gemini is opposite of you on the wheel as well. So that's pretty interesting. Um, so you may be dealing with a Gemini. I feel like there is a Gemini here. Maybe this Gemini is going to help you. You know, when I see that Gemini card, I just got, I just got two cards that flipped over as I was shuffling. Um, I think of the lover's card. So I'm not sure if there's something unexpected, that unexpected help. You may be getting some unexpected help. These two just fell out. It's time to move on. It's time to move on from a situation. I think that you are aware of that. I think that you are. Fantasy land. So somebody is in fantasy land. I know there's some sort of illusion here. There's definitely some sort of illusion, and you need to make a move. It's time for you to move on. You need to come out of fantasy land. You need to come out of illusion. Okay? And I know that's, that's a hard pill to swallow. It's in your reading. Okay? It's for you. It's not for the other person. It's not. Okay? I feel like you need to... Uh, something about reality you need to come back to reality you need to realize you need to accept reality you can't this whatever situation you're in it's fake it's a fake situation okay it's not real all right you need to it's time for you to move on from this fake situation that you're in okay there's nothing real about it. It's not where you need to be. You need you need something real in your life, and you need you need something real. And it's not another person. It's in your reading, okay? So what do we have for Sagittarius? The Empress, the Empress could be dealing with a mother. We have a, may have a mother that's going to help you or we may have a mother here that is about to give birth to a new life. This could be news of a pregnancy. This is something to do with uh, birthing. Okay, so it's the birth, it's, it's time. It's time for 
um, some sort of blessing. And I do believe that you are going to be receiving a blessing. I'm pretty sure about uh, that you are. I feel like um, there's some tender, loving care coming your way. There's somebody here that really, 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 really cares about you. And I also feel like there's, there's uh, it's a time of incubation for you, for you. I think that you're going through a period of incub incubation right now. And it's been really, really painful. I feel like you are about to receive what you've been waiting for. It's interesting, waiting for news, package, or letter. This is a period of waiting as well. The Empress says she, she, she waits, you know. Um, for her blessing. So there is definitely a blessing that is coming. Um, has something to do with um, a motherhood or a mother. Um, I just got to turn the light on over here because it's kind of dark. Yeah, let's turn the light on. Um, we have a domestic goddess here. So we have a domestic goddess. We have somebody that does everything with love. I feel like I feel like you are uh, probably gonna start feeling better. You're gonna be uh, really shining to the outside world. It feels like you're shining. Anyhow, let's get one of these. Um, Something about mother and child here. It's harvest time as well. It's time. It's time. It's time for you to receive. So yeah, it's time for you to receive. Some of there, some of you, there could be a reconciliation, or there's a mother that is helping a child. What do we have? What do we have for uh, Sagittarius? 22, grace, adornment, bring out beauty, elegance, the outer as a reflection of the inner, vanity, charisma, self-expression. So you, like I said, I, I did feel like you were going to be shining or glowing. I feel like you're, yeah, people are, like I said, you are going to be shining. I knew that you were. Elegance, the outer as a reflection of the inner. So it's like... You're beautiful on the inside and the outside at this time, okay? Your, your inner beauty is really, really, really showing. It's showing to the outside world. I do feel like you're going to be expressing it as well. I feel like you've got a lot of love. It's like flowing from you. It's, it really is. It's like it's, everybody can feel your vibration, There's some sort of unexpected help here. You're getting some sort of unexpected help. It's interesting because the everybody wants to help the empress. Everybody wants to help the empress. They do. They flock to her. There's just something about her. There's just something about her grace. There's something about her charisma. There's something about her her beauty that calls people in. Okay? So there, there, there is somebody here that is about to uh, receive some help. I know that they are. And it, for some of you, if you're single, this is love, okay? It's, it's an unexpected choice in love, I mean, with that Gemini card, because that reminds me of the lovers. These cards are sticking. Seven of Swords, first card out. So Seven of Swords is about taking a new approach, using logic, using, using reason, doing something risky. So somebody's going to be doing something risky, uh, taking, a, taking some sort of risk. It looks like it could be dangerous. Uh, let's get some more cards, see what goes with that. Six of Swords. Interesting. Now that is you're moving on. It's time to move on. Taking, taking a new approach. Some of you may be making an escape. Okay. They may be escaping a situation where there's been, I don't know if there's been bloodshed or what. You see the blood? Okay. I don't know if you see it down there. But it feels like leaving, leaving something behind where there's been betrayal, there's been deception, there's been lies, there's been a lot of lies, there's been a lot of uh, abuse, I believe. I mean, if you think about the Six of Swords and the Seven of Swords, what comes before that is the Five of Swords, which is hostilities. 
Okay, fighting, bickering, uh, control, power struggles. I feel like you are leaving behind somebody that has caused you a lot of uh, struggles, a lot of troubles. You're leaving a troubled situation behind. I think you were dealing with somebody that was very, very egotistical. Could it be a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius? We have air here. You're leaving somebody behind that was uh, causing you a lot of trouble. You're headed towards peace and harmony. It's like you're you're leaving a dark situation behind. You're taking a new approach. Some of you are, are, are have been thinking about it a lot. You've been planning. You know, the Seven of Swords is is a planner. This is somebody that wants to beat the enemy at their own game. I think that you've been using a lot of logic and reason to get yourself out of a situation. I think that you've been relying on your wits. And I think that you are about to go in a new direction. And whatever, wherever it is that you're going, there's light, okay? It's, there's peace and there's harmony and there's serenity. I feel like you're going by yourself, though. I don't see another person here. I feel like you're leaving on your own. It's like you're going by yourself wherever it is that you're going. You're really, um, I feel like for some of you, it's getting your life back on track. Three of Swords reversed. This is leaving the heartache behind. Okay, it's leaving the pain behind, now focusing on the future. I feel like you've really, really been suffering. I feel like the storm is now passing. Um, I feel like you've also been uh, so, like suppressing, suppressing your pain. You know, I think that there's been a lot of heartache, maybe even some heart pain, okay? Maybe you've been refusing to let go, you know? Maybe you've been really struggling with letting go, and it's been really painful, extremely painful, because the longer you hang on, the longer you hang on to a painful situation, the more it hurts, especially when you know that it's time to move on, when it's time to go, especially if it's family or somebody that you've been with for a long time. But this is leaving it behind. It's leaving the past hurts behind, okay? Focusing on the future. The storm is passing. You're, st you're coming out of a dark, stormy situation where there's been betrayal. It feels like you've been... Well, you've had to learn to protect yourself in a very big way. You've, you've had to put on armor because it feels like there's been some serious abuse. Again, another swords. So I feel like you've really been put in a painful situation. Oh my God, another one, Ten of Swords. Ten of Swords is the end, okay, it is the end. It's a mental or physical collapse. Okay, this is taking a vacation physically or mentally, so that's interesting with the Ten of Swords. I saw just reading the, the round card again. This is the end, this is the death of a situation, this is goodbye. This is the end of suffering. You have been suffering. I think that you're getting out. You're getting out of a situation. I feel, feel, I feel like you've reached the end. I can't, this is like the, this is like a death. It's like, I can't do this anymore. It's too painful. It's too, 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 too painful. And I feel like it's really affected your mind. You know, it's really caused you a lot of dis distraught. I mean, you've been really distraught over this, but you, it's caused you to gain ability to, Well, it's mental strength. It's mental strength. You've gained mental strength. That's what's happened through this whole situation. But anyway, the suffering is over. So it's the end of suffering. You're, you're about to move on. Because you have the Ten of Swords, then the Six of Swords. You're about to move on from a very painful situation. Hierophant reversed. So Hierophant reversed is a disgrace. Okay, the Hierophant is poor counsel. I don't know if you've received poor counsel from somebody or you've been under a lot of social pressure. You're dealing with somebody that questions their authority. Could be a father figure that is abusive, okay, that is not very spiritual, that is abusing you. It doesn't have to be a father figure. This is somebody that doesn't... Uh, does the opposite of what they say, okay? They don't... They're not really committed to the... Uh, relationship. This is a relationship no longer on the same page. I don't know if it's with a father or a father figure or somebody that you once um, looked up to, okay? Who, and this could be the end of a commitment. This, is, this could be a separation. It could be a breakup. It could, it could be. I feel like you're dealing with somebody that uh, is under a lot of social pressure and they have been having a hard time doing the right thing because of social pressure. 
you know, it's like they're very selfish, they're very greedy, they do the opposite of what they say. Um, they don't believe, they don't believe in, the, in, the, in a higher power, or they don't realize that there's consequences for their actions. This is like a father figure or, or somebody like that that has abused their power. And it doesn't have to be a father figure, but there's an abuse of power here. And there's poor counsel as well. Somebody is driven by society. I don't think it's you. I think it's somebody that you're dealing with. King of Cups reversed. Emotions all over the place. I don't even know. There could be a funeral for some of you. Ten of Swords next to the Hierophant. I'm not sure if there is a funeral or it's a, the end of a marriage or the end of a commitment. It could be the end of the marriage or commitment. Because of Ten of Swords. And, you know, a funeral doesn't have to be a literal funeral. It's the death of a situation, you know. Whatever the situation is, somebody is making an escape. They're getting out of there. It doesn't mean that it's an actual death, but it's an ending. You know, it, deaths are endings, but it doesn't mean it's an actual physical death. I mean, I suppose it could be, but I don't think it. I mean, I, I don't know. Um, not, King of Cups reverse. King of Cups reverse is emotions all over. You're dealing with somebody that is emotionally withdrawn. Could be a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, or a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. That's what I see. This person does not have good intentions at all. This person is definitely not very spiritual. They don't listen to their gut. They don't listen to the higher power. They are all about control. They like to be in control. Okay, they have, they're under a lot of social pressure. This person um, doesn't communicate well. They, they keep secrets. They're very, very secretive. Um, they've been causing you a lot of pain. Somebody has been causing you a lot of pain. Um, not really committed, not really committed. There's no commitment here. Emotions all over the place. Under a lot of social pressure, somebody is abusing their power. They're emotionally manipulative. manipulative. They like to cause you pain. It's, it, it's sad. It is sad, but you're leaving it behind. You are, you are headed in a new direction. It's time to move on from whatever this emotional, it's very emotional, it's, it's abuse, it is abuse. This is some sort of disgrace. It is. Whoever you're dealing with um, does not have good intentions. This person is um, emotionally unavailable. Okay? Knight of Wands reversed. So the Knight of Wands. I think we have a sudden departure here. I think we, we do. Knight of Wands reversed. I feel like we have somebody here that is doing something reckless, okay? They're doing something very suddenly. I'm not sure if there's something to do with drinking and driving here as well. We have the King of Cups reversed with the Knight of Wands. King of Cups reversed. I mean, there's, there's a cup. It's upside down. And then we have the Knight of Wands is driving. You know, just be careful. Be very, very careful. And then the Seven of Cards. Seven of Cards. I can't talk for any reason. Seven of Swords comes out, especially as the first card. Be careful. That's a be careful. Caution. Caution energy caution um, and then we have the driving again with the six of swords you may not see something you may not see something coming be very 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 careful you I feel like you have somebody here that is quite aggressive um, they're very very emotional they may be uh, things could get out of control with the knight of wands reverse I feel like and you need to control your emotions you may get angry you may get upset Somebody may be trying to take something from you or they're trying to hurt you again and it could cause an argument. It definitely could. It could. Um, because I feel like you're, you know, you've got this armor on. You're in protection mode. I feel like you're, you're, you're ready to fight at a moment's notice because whoever you're dealing with has uh, hurt you so much in the past. Anyway, this Knight of Wands reversed is... Uh, very competitive, extremely competitive, very forceful, bad reputation. We do have somebody here that has a bad reputation. They 
uh, lose it. They lose control. They need to, you need to, con I, mean, I don't know if it's you or this could be you or the other person. We have somebody here that needs to control their emotions. There's going to be some uncontrollable emotions this week, whether it's you or somebody else. Okay. There's going to be uncontrollable emotions. Um, there could definitely be a sudden departure. There could definitely be with the Knight of Wands reversed. So whatever's happening is going to happen extremely, extremely fast. I feel like you could get yourself into a, uh, a situation with somebody who does not want you to... Uh, I don't know what it is. It feels like you got, is there some sort of fortunate change here? Something about fortune? It's about, it's about going in a new direction. Maybe they don't want you to go in a new direction. But this is good luck is on its way. It's, it's, it's a positive uh, change for you. Destined change, of course. A positive change is coming for you. But I feel like you're dealing with somebody that is overly competitive that is going to be challenging you. Okay? I feel like you've got somebody here that is working against you. This person is very cunning. They're very, very sneaky. Um, you need to be very, very, very careful. You need to get out of a situation before it gets worse. Um, there's some sort of lies here. I don't know if there's cheating or what with the Seven of Swords. There could definitely be, be, be cheating. The ultimate betrayal, Ten of Swords. I mean, we get the Seven of Swords, then the Ten of Swords, which, which is the, the ultimate betrayal. It's time to move on. This person is not committed. They're not committed. They're, this is a disgrace. It may be even publicly embarrassing. Somebody is, has betrayed you, whatever the betrayal is, whether it's cheating or stealing or lying or just, you know, hurting you or, or abusing you over and over and over again. This is a disgrace. It is. It is. Um, it's very embarrassing. This is like, oh my God, oh my God. It really is. Knight of Wands reversed, but the Knight of Wands is reckless behavior. It could even be violence. Master your emotions, okay? Master your emotions during this time. I feel like your emotions are going to be all over the place. Something could be made public, you know, and it causes your, causes you to get upset. Okay, so I don't know what that is, but control your emotions. Whatever is happening, luck is on your side. I know that it is. It's on your side. You are. It's painful though. That's the Empress doesn't get her blessing without going through pain, and I see all this pain. I can see it. I can see it. This is like major heartburn, major heartache. Um, things happening really, really fast. Um, I think you've been in a really fake situation. It's time to move on from it. Somebody may have chosen another option. Maybe it was you. Maybe it was them. We have an unexpected choice in love here. I know that we do. Somebody may have cheated. It may be revealed. You may be doing some sort of investigation. And I don't know if it, what it is, but there's, there's something going on here that... I feel like you know, you know. Maybe you haven't been listening to your gut. You haven't been listening to your intuition. You know it's time to move on. You know it's too what, uh, time to move on. I know that you do. I feel like you're illuminating beauty, okay? There's unexpected help around you. I feel like it's time. It's time for you to receive the blessings and the, um, well, I don't know, it's some sort of gift. You're about to receive, you, you need, it's time. It's time for you to receive the reward, okay? Because this is a fortune and the, and the Empress gives, is a reward for all the pain that she's been through. So you, you, there, is, there is something fortunate that is coming in your direction. You're going to be going in a new direction. A cycle of your life is coming to an end. It's destined. Okay, You are destined for positive change. You are headed in the right direction. But I feel like this week there's still going to be, you may be caught off guard by somebody that is very cunning, that is very clever, that is trying to stop your stop you they're trying to stop you in some way we we have a show off here we have a show off could be another fire sign aries leo sagittarius could also be a libra gemini aquarius or pisces cancer scorpio anyway 
it's interesting. This is what just fell out of the deck, and we already talked about it at the beginning. This is the last card, Five of Swords. This is a hostile situation, being caught off guard, getting yourself into a dangerous situation. Be very, 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 very careful. You will have a snake around you. This person has no moral conscience. This is a stiff competitor that wants to win at all costs. So I do believe that uh, you're dealing with somebody that has no moral conscience. It's like they lure you. They lure you. You know, you need to be very, 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 very careful. Whoever you're dealing with is an emotional manipulator. They don't plan on sticking around. All they do is play. This could even be a one night stand or a hit and run or something like that. I feel like you, it's time for you to move on from a situation with a person that doesn't care if they hurt you. All they care about is themselves. You have to sever ties before they, before things get worse. Good luck.